the savage. Hey, what's up peeps, Repson here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to import a Minecraft world into Cinema 4D for an animation. So first, you're going to want to go to this website called Mineways, and uh, I'll put a link to that in the, in the, shut up, cat, <laughs> in the description. And uh, so all you have to do is download for PC or Mac or whatever. Um, I'm on PC, so, oh, oh crap. Okay, well, it's gonna download that, but I already have it downloaded, and it'll be a zip file, and you'll have to extract it using WinRAR or something like that, and it will basically uh, get you to here. So you've got all this stuff, and then you're gonna want to open either Mineways 32 uh, for 32-bit, Windows 8 for Windows 8, and then this is, I guess, 64, probably? But anyway, so I have Windows 8, and it'll take you to this thing right here. And then, you'll want- sorry if I'm going a little fast. Uh, you'll want to go into Minecraft, uh, go to the world that your creation is in. It has to be single player, I'm pretty sure. I mean, I guess you can download the world in server world? I don't know. Anyway, so you want to go into here, reps in his swag. Yes. And... Ah, oh, what's wrong with my arm? Ah! Ah! Oh. Okay, there we go. Okay, so, as you can see, I have made this beautiful house in, like, two seconds. And it says reps in his bag. So that you can, like, walk in and walk out. Okay. So, once you do that, uh, so you have your house in this whole area. But, uh, you know, just to, you don't have to do this, but uh, I like to get something really prominent, like redstone blocks, and, yeah. And just, you know, <laughs> just to make it easier to find on the Mineways thing, uh, I like to do this for s some things. I mean, obviously, uh, you don't have to do this, especially don't do it if it's gonna, like, get in the way of the animation or something. Um, but if it's not, then, you know, it's just... It's, it's safer. So, once you do that, you basically make it a marker saying, Hey, it's right there. Come on, open your eyes. And then, what you're gonna do, uh, so you can close out of that. Uh, close out of this. And then file open world. Let's see, Repson is swag. And so, as here, you can make this bigger so it's easier to see. So, right now, I can't, ah, there's my house. No, where'd it go? Okay, there it is. So, as you can see, that is my house. And it's got the redstone around it, so it's easy to see. And then, after that, uh, you can go into, no, no, sorry. You have to select with your right mouse thingy, the right click, uh, your area. And then, this comes up, and you're just like, yeah, whatever. Okay. File export for rendering, not 3D printing, although you can't do that. And then you're going to go to your desktop and make another folder and just call it like, uh, animation stuff. Okay. Yeah, so you're going to want to go into there and just save it as, you know, whatever, house. You can save it as whatever you're. Whatever you want to call it, and then all oh, this thing will pop up. You know, it's it, just just click OK because it's weird. So once you go there, you should have this animation stuffs, and then so you're gonna have this OBJ, MTL, and a bunch of textures. And then you're gonna want to go into Cinema 4D, and uh, just wait for that to get up. Uh, let's see. You can close out of that. Uh, yeah. Anyway, and then you're just gonna wanna let's see. Yeah, I don't care about that. Get get the uh, OBJ, drag it onto here. Uh, you can 
let's see, I'm not, I forgot how big this is going to be, but depending on the rig size of your character or whatever, you know, you can just experiment, more or less. Yeah, I'm just going to put it in, uh, feet, because YOLO. I, I don't know. Okay, ooh, that looks tiny. Okay, that was, that was probably a bad idea. But, you never know. Okay, so right now, we've got this kind of crappy looking house with a sign that should say reps in his swag on it. So, yeah. And, uh, it looks, looks tiny, but it's got a tree and a house and swag. Okay, okay so, um, now, once you've got to this stage, all you gotta do is highlight all of this, that, no, no, hold on. I like all of these uh, things down here. Did I did I get them all? Okay, I got them. And then, uh, oh wait, no, no, wait, yes, okay, okay. Load image, and then you're that's that's not good. Um, where was it? Okay, I'm I'm having I'm having difficulties. I forgot. Ah, animation stuff. Okay. And then you're going to want to click on this house-rgba.png and open that. And so now you have a crappy but less crappy looking house and a bunch of crappy stuff around it. So I used crappy too much in that sentence. And uh, yeah, so now you've got your house. And you're going to go into basic and check this alpha thing. Which then gives you this new tab, so you can go to alpha, and texture, load image, and click on the house-alpha.png. Open that, which then makes the grass, you know, a bit transparent and stuff. And, uh, yeah. Once you get to this stage, then you can, like, add lighting and all that good stuff, and then make it look pretty sexy. Because right now, if you render it out, it's probably going to be... Pretty, pretty trashy, yeah. So I'm probably gonna make a tutorial on how to add amazing lighting like this. And then I will make that a different tutorial. So yeah, stay tuned for part two of how to animate Minecraft in Cinema 4D. My tree is cut off, but yeah. Thank you.